I've got four of my favorite weed of bourbons, all non-cast strength. Can any of them beat Weller Antique 107? Let's find out. Well, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Ever since I got the Antique 107, I want to compare it against some of my favorite non-cast strength weeded bourbons. So I kind of looked at, besides the Antique 107, which ones did I like the best? Well, obviously the Bardstown Origin, uh, bottled and bond at 100 proof, would be my top choice. It, uh, it's probably my favorite weeded bourbon, or at least it has been. We'll see tonight if it still remains king. A kind of a newcomer, the Southern Star Paragon, also a bottled in bond. Uh, I did a review of that not too long ago. I thought this was a fabulous weeded bourbon. And they make a cast strength version now that I'm actually, uh, I need to try. Uh, and of course, last but not least, a real newcomer for me, the Soft Red Wheat, from Ben Holiday Bottled and Bond. I just love the regular Bottled and Bond uh, bourbon. And uh, although I don't, uh, it's this isn't my favorite weeded bourbon, I thought like, I'm gonna give it another shot. In a blind, it might surprise me. I might actually like it better than I think I do. Three of them are 100 proof, and naturally, Antique 107's got a little bit of advantage of that seven additional proof points, but I didn't want to bring in cast strength bourbons that, uh, for example, my Larceny C923, which is like 125, 126 proof. That just isn't a good comparison. I think I've done shows on most of these. Uh, we'll, we'll let you know in the uh, comments whether there are other shows so you can watch these individually. We'll put that in the comments. But right now, uh, we've got glasses one, two, three, and four. My lovely assistant has poured these. I don't know which is which, but uh, I'm hoping to find out whether the Antique 107 is my new favorite or the Bardstown remains king of the show. So uh, we're going to start. We're going to we're going to do a little bit different tonight. We're going to try to make this quicker by going through there and me then. Uh, scoring them off camera and then going back through and taking some off. So we're going to get started on our left. This is glass one. And what is the aroma? Well, that is a sweet wheat, a typical sweet wheat bourbon, if you ask me. Uh, molasses, brown sugar. Uh, some medium to dark fruit, and a little bit of oak. Cheers. Oh, that is good. A little sweet, a little rich, and a little proofy. Of course, this is my first bourbon, so that's got a disadvantage, and I, I pick up that ethanol right away because my, my tongue's not used to it. Let's see what glass number two is like. Very similar to glass one. Maybe not quite as much molasses brown sugar going on, but definitely the wheat comes through and oak. Hmm. Cheers. Oh, that's that got some nice spice going on right in the front. Hmm. A little richer and a little bolder taste. Then glass one. Let's go to three. Now this one is different. This one I'm getting a little more fruit and more of a nutty profile and less on the brown sugar uh, molasses. But definitely a, a, a fruity sweetness coming through on this one. Cheers. Oh, that is good. But definitely that fruit and nuttiness transferred to the palate. It's rich, kind of like glass too, 
but definitely a different profile, a lot less on the molasses brown sugar, a lot more fruit coming up, fruit coming from glass three. Very nice. Well, last but not least, glass four. Now this, this room was more like one and two. More molasses brown sugar. Uh, not quite as uh, aromatic as one and two, but similar. Cheers. Wow, that is a lot more like one and two. And I would say somewhere between it. A little more bold taste than one, but not quite as rich and sweet as two, but very good. Mm. Well, I'm gonna have to score these and we'll be right back and we'll do another round and then we're gonna start taking ones off the podium. Oh yeah. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and scored that first round, and uh, the purpose of the second round is to see if I if those scores change, and if my ranking change. If it doesn't, they're starting to come off the podium. We're going to try to make this short and sweet, unlike some of my other videos. All right. Um, well, my uh, I'm going to taste my fourth pick or what's in fourth place, which was glass three. I noted that that was nutty and fruity. And a lot of times I like a nutty and fruity profile, but uh, I just don't like it as much as the other three. So let's see if it changes. Not really, I mean, it's good. I would drink it. Absolutely, I would drink it. But it's not as good as the other three. Mm. Mm. So what did I have in third place? Um, third place, third place, third place. Oh, glass one. I said it was sweet and mellow. And it is that. Hmm. But I'm going to keep the score. This is very good. And what did I have in second place? I think it was glass four. I said it's all of glass one and two, but milder. I'm going to change my score on that. I actually think it on the second sip, I actually like it better. Cross that out. And the number one ranking now was glass two, and I said it's sweet, bold, and rich. Kind of like me. <laughs> None of the above. And that's, I nailed that as far as the way I feel about it. And a little spicy, I could add a little spicy to it. I don't think it would change the score, but on the second sip, I am getting more spice and my lips are tingling a little bit. I don't know if it's because of the proof or the spice. Hmm, not sure about that. Well, uh, only one score changed. Um, so, uh, what is, uh, figure this out here, fourth place with a score of 7.5 was glass three. Third place uh, with a score of 8.0 was the sweet and mellow. Put that forward. Glass number one. In second place, uh, was the uh, all of the above but milder than glass two and I think that's what did it for me that uh, I really liked glass four but glass two which just had more going for it just more 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 
So Glass or four was in second place, which leaves the champ tonight as Glass two with a 9.5. I changed this from an 8.5 to nine. I actually liked it more the second time. It was the only score that changed. So um, this is my card. I need to find my wife's card over here. Antique 107 takes the crown is my new favorite weeded bourbon. Now if I can only find a backup for it, that wouldn't that be nice? Uh, the fact that the Antique 107 came in first, not a big surprise. You know, I'm kind of disappointed because I've always said how much I love this Bardstown, and I still do. And I can buy this for $49. I can't buy this for $49. I can't even find it in North Georgia, regardless of the price. So I have backups of this. Maybe one day I'll have a backup of this. I will still drink this whenever I get the chance. So with this, that's kind of a special sip, isn't it? So we hope you will like this video, comment and share. And if you didn't win tonight, I've got a cast strength uh, weeded bourbon blind coming up in the near future. We'll do this thing again. And if you did win tonight, congratulations. We're going to give you a sample of the uh, Antique 107, as much as I hate to. You will get a sample of that. And a sample of the Bardstown. If you've never tried the Bardstown, you're going to love this because you can go out and find it. So, as always, never drink and drive. Please drink responsibly. And cheers to the weeded bourbon lovers out there. See you next time.